So when I think of Arizona skate parks, this is really what I imagine. Square rails. Charles and his brother grinding into the bank. Super big transition that's really mellow and all of the coping everywhere is dry. Uh, I even on the quarter pipe, like going fast, went to 50-50 and lost all my speed for a stretch. But this is what these guys grew up skating. This is what they're used to. Like some of the stuff looks like it could be really fun. Like this hubba right here, I wouldn't mind getting down on, but like, the concrete's kind of so old and like grippy, like it take a good bit of wax to get it going. You can tell that people don't really stay on top of it, like keeping the stuff waxed. Also the coping sticks up on both sides, which is the design that I think skate parks abandoned like 10 years ago. But like, look how much space there is here. Like it's massive. This park could definitely use some graffiti just to like give it a little bit of color and also maybe a little bit of slickness because I'm sure when this park was first built, it was really like normal skate park slipperiness, but now it's super grippy. That seems to be the main ledge that people skate. Out of all the ledges, like they're all kind of like falling apart. That one's super grinded up though and it's like freshly waxed. So I guess someone has probably the best bump to it. Some of these ledges look like they haven't been grinded in years. This, this king curl, look at this thing. No one's skating that. Oh yeah, this is Jaws home turf for sure. I wonder which one's the older brother. I think Jaws is the younger brother. In the way that he didn't land his kickle back tail. For as much stuff as there is at this skate park, there's actually a lot of dead space and there's no black ground ledge. And it makes sense that this is the park that like Jaws learned how to skate at. Cause everything's just big. They're just like landing on each other every time they try a trick. Got Andy Mack and Bob Burnquist doing their doubles runs. <laughs> Jesus. Thought I was with Matthew Wilcox for a second. Like this is the exact opposite kind of skate park that I would like to skate. Everything's like tall, mellow, and spread out where I like everything like really close together and like steeper. This is a good place to learn how to do like airs and stuff like that. I could see Matthew just getting ridiculous on some of these hips. I definitely need to plan like a Powell Arizona trip where I take a couple of those guys out here. And... Oh my God. His warm up, which I didn't film, was he like rolled down, did an axle stall, and then did all the kick flips on flat ground, like all four of them, fell on heel flip, and then immediately went into just blasting airs. Look how, look how loud these brothers are. What a family. And the dad's just there being supportive. He just tried to fakey frontside flip like a quarter pipe hit. Like what? Yeah, there's there's no slide. If this was like at any skateboard in California, he would have power slid the fakey for sure. Oh my. I love that he skates this like a regular hip. Like I'm assuming a park like this with so many like huge floaty obstacles is why he's like kind of notoriously comfortable like way in the air, whether he's jumping down something big or launching out of something big. Is this the park you grew up skating? It is. This is your origin story? Yep. Some guy made him, he forgot to put some quit in him. We just watched the, the Buster Scruggs movie last night. Oh my God. He'll like fall on this and then immediately just try more gnarly shit. Oh my God. All right, I have this theory. So like, you know, skate park kids, a lot of times they get kind of screwed when it comes to having a career in skateboarding. 
because uh, usually they just have kind of contrived style and they're kind of following the main line. And then when they go to transfer it to street skating, they struggle. But I think that skate park skaters that start off skating really typical at skate parks where everything's kind of gnarly like this have like kind of an advantage because they get used to committing to everything and then everything's like huge. And then when they skate street stuff where the stuff's not as good as a skate park, well, their skate park usually kind of sucks too. Like I'm sure when this park was brand new, it was way easier to skate, but. In comparison to like any skate park that I skate in California, this park brand new is a zero out of 10. Even though I could definitely see myself having a lot of fun here, as far as like learning stuff and like getting better and figuring stuff out, like there's no like playful options. You have to go straight for hucking. Dude, I just hate getting caught up on tricks. I have a weird brain. He's like apologizing for not landing the kickflip back tail right away. Cause he's like, oh, I gotta keep trying it. But like in between each try, he comes back here and does just like a ridiculous air. The more you go over in this section to get back to your starting point, the more footage I get. I'll take it. See that yank? That separates the launch out skaters from the actual transition skaters. When you can grab it and tweak it late, ugh. Like, I don't know if I can even call this a line because there's so much, like, dead space between tricks. Like, you almost lose cell phone reception. But it's not his fault. Oh, man. Oh. So long. All right, now we're doing this. There. <laughs> oh my god. The stamina of this man. The fake you'd be crazy because you don't have a lot of room to like carve into it, so you kind of like gotta pretend you're gonna go to regular and then. Oh I was literally about to ask if you've ever skated this rail because it's terrible. Oh yeah, dude. We've had many sessions on this thing. Have you flipped into it? Yeah. <laughs> of course you have. Yeah. Okay. You want to see me die right now? No, 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 no. I want to see you land tricks. Oh my god. Alana, Alana, come this way. I get too excited yeah, when we're filming for the YouTube. I just try really hard shit. I know. You're doing the exact opposite of what YouTubers are supposed to do. <laughs> You're gonna kick loop grind this? Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going the whole thing, pop off right away, I don't know. We'll see what happens when we get there. Oh, I didn't get you, this, this is you, don't blame me for this. This is, not, this is all bad. I tried to talk him out of it. Like this thing has definitely not been waxed in like 20 years. Oh my God. Oh, do people just need to know about secret tech jaws? That's all this is. Most flipping dude. Well, I'm not what I've been up to, man. <laughs> yeah, this is where you've been. We're going to pop out front side, back side. Oh, fuck no.
as you watch these Jaws videos, just being out here in Arizona with him, you realize that he is so much better than you thought he was, because I'm definitely realizing that. I've always known he was good, and I've always known that he has some secret flip tricks, but he is consistent. No grab. Some grab. Dude, I didn't know you were gonna no grab the backside ollie. That was fucking sick. Yeah, these aren't your Woodward launch outs where it's all smooth and slidey. Like when you bail on these, you have to like tuck and roll and get all like cut up because it's grippy ground. It used to be nice. I think this park was built in 2003. Yeah, the sun beating down on it and then the age. Yeah, that it'll get to you. So 20 years. <laughs> he said this one's usually harder for him. Yeah, he says the hard part about going over this front side of the line is really difficult. Yeah, you get to like pump all crazy on that thing. And then street push. Damn, even the transition has cracks in it where he got a pop. Most street skate park ever. down for two seconds so i had to call in the backup get some real footage out here so yeah all the parents are just like over there in the corner sitting and they just let their kids run them up like all right you're good like this there's a kid laying on the ground for like 10 minutes now grabbing his arm jaws to the rescue the re-warm-up line but one expert mode with the children watch out for that really cool skateboard oh my god I like that little attempt at the tail smack there. I Real. know, I like this. <laughs> Kick flip steel fish. <laughs> yeah, this is like he's on some like almost Matthew type stuff, but on top of that, he can jump like the most stairs ever. Obviously, he's not going quite as high as Matthew, but he's doing so many different tricks. I think people really sleep on Jaws' ability to like do big airs. loses his hat like Matthew. Is this where you learned all your like airs and stuff like into this hit? Yeah this is definitely where I learned all my kickflip grabs. Yeah this is it's kind of like the perfect thing where it's like you're landing in transition that's quarter pipey but it's mellow enough that it's slightly forgiving except for how grippy it is. Yeah, yeah you can like fall and slide it out. Yeah. Well probably not slide it out anymore. <laughs> I watched not you really anymore. Yeah, I was gonna say I watched you try to slide that out. Like the worst is like when you stick on it and then you fall like 
all the way down it. I mean, I've rocked my dome piece a couple times. This is definitely why I learned all, um, like, so many of my kickflip grabs. Still learning them. Still learning them. See, that kickflip sailfish fish was sick. Thanks, that way. See, like, so that one usually takes me, like, 10 tries. Really? Yeah. But the kickflip back tail, kickle not so much. The kickflip back tail takes me, like, three tries. And then today it was opposite. Well, the kickflip front grind was sick too, because this ledge is garbage. <laughs> what, now try a double flip melon. No way. Carrie gets grab. Well, Carrie yeah. gets a kickflip melons too. Billy Marks got me into the double flips. He would do, he would throw some mean double flips. Yeah, he did. I remember that flat ground triple flip he did over that little flat gap. I need that outfit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> this to the, uh, oh, that the flick? Slick cap. It's a different flick. It's a different flick than the, than the suede. It's a little, it's a little bit, bit slicker. Like, See, I feel like a lot of really people slick. would like that though, because I know a lot of people don't like the flick of a brandy pair of shoes. Yeah. But when they're a little worn in, they get a little slicker. I'm kind of like that. I'd probably like that toe cap then. Don't, don't, don't look at it as good or bad. It just is what it is. Yeah, I don't know if Jaws is going to get to go anytime soon. Oh. Why'd you do that, Jaws? Oh my God. That was so good. He was saying he's got such a muscle memory for kickflip melons, he has to like intentionally delay his hand. Oh, that was going <laughs> Like naturally goes to Indy. Just land on it upside down. Okay, that's my trick. But I stole from the Ender Hobo. Or Chet Childress. I don't know who I stole it from, but... I heard the flip. It was like... I love the bail grabs. Oh! The switch off. Oh. Yeah, that was one of the wilder flips and the crazier grabs, but I'm glad you stuck it. I could watch you bail this all day. Done. <laughs> <laughs> oh.